I know the court will do what it needs to do, and, we'll, and we will accept that. And I thank you for your time, Your Honor. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Eric Hutchinson. Yes, Eric A R I C. And your last name, sir? Hutchinson. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Sam was my wife. I was sitting next to her on the golf cart. I've been thinking about what to say ever since that night. And what do you say when your world's shattered? <coughs> Physically, I'm in pain every day. My face hurts, my back hurts, my feet hurt. It's a struggle to get through every day. I see more doctors than I can count. I see more therapists. More psychiatrists, done more procedures than I ever care to do. And I still feel I'm at the same point. That's when I found out that day. My world will be ever changed what happened that night. I think about that night every single day in the last moments I had with Sam on the golf cart. She told me she didn't want the night to end. And I kissed her on the forehead. And then the next thing I remember is waking up in the hospital. I see my mom's face still wearing the wedding dress from the night before, and I knew instantly. And so I asked where Sam. I knew she wasn't there. I wish more than anything you have me instead of Sam. She had died that night. So she didn't have to go alone. I wish I saw you coming. If I jumped off the golf cart, so you would only run me over. I pray to God that you'd miss that golf cart. We did not get hit. We got ran through at 65 miles per hour. There's no way any four of us, any three of us should be alive. All four of us should have died that night. But I'm a firm believer Sam saved us. That's who she is. And she would have took one for all of us. She said, take me, save these guys. And the guilt with that, that I live with, every single second of every day is unbearable. Took the greatest human being I've ever met. She's not coming back. She's gone. She was my world. And I'd give anything just for one second to hold her again. She wanted children, and she talked me into having two. She wanted them so bad that she wanted to start having kids or trying to have kids before the wedding. But I was nervous that she wouldn't be able to fit into her wedding dress. So we decided to wait till after the wedding to start a family. I don't have joy, I don't have passion, I don't have drive. I feel like I'm stuck in hell. I wish every day that I died that night. Do you know what it's like to vow to protect your wife and to do anything for her and then to lose her hours after that? Something nobody should have to go through. This strategy has touched so many people around the world. I've received letters, messages, 
strangers all over the country or world just at home with a lot of people. And they have shown so much love and support. Your sentence does not matter to me. If I had it my way, I'd give you life. It seems only fair since you took Sam's life and the holes that you have ripped through our entire family, my family, and all our friends. But I know that decision is not up to me. Regardless of what decision is made, <coughs> I still will be in this hell. I still will have to go through everything. My brother-in-law will still have pain, will still have surgery. Sam's family will still miss their daughter and sister. Sam was the life to all of us. She was the wrong person to die that night. This is a quote from Sam Bell. She said, I will love you today, tomorrow, and until I take my last breath on this earth. I am forever yours. I was an hour before you killed her. Thank you for your time, Grandma. Mm -hmm. There's nothing further. Uh, we'll leave that in discretion for dealing you know, like with facts and circumstances, case, such as people themselves.